When the weather is warm and inviting, it's a good idea to go outside on the patio and entertain. I have a DIY table centerpiece to show you that also allows you to display beautiful cut fresh flowers. What you'll need for this DIY project is some pallet wood, wood stain of your choice, clamps, a sander, jigsaw and power drill, tape measure and a pencil, saw hole bit, driver bits, wood screws, a corner clamp, glass bottles and wood glue. The first step is planning your project. So I've decided to go for six glass bottles and I've selected my pallet wood because I absolutely love upcycling in DIY projects. I've spaced out my bottles and I'm happy with this setting right here. So I've measured out the base piece of wood and it's 580 millimeters. So the top piece of wood has to be the same measurement because what we're doing is we're building a wooden casing around the beautiful glass bottles, our vases. So start measuring your wood and then you cut them to size, but leave the side parts till much later. I'll show you why. top piece of wood is cut to size and what I'm going to do is place it down not acting as the bottom but I'm just going to place the bottles out again now you can eyeball this guys or you can measure it out it's up to you because I have to trace out each bottleneck because that's where I'm going to really drill a hole for the bottles to fit into they all traced out and all in line I'm happy with how it looks the next part is we're going to drill the holes. So let's clamp our wood and look what I do is I just follow the trace out lines and I'm going to start drilling. Remember to take special care when handling the hole saw drill bit into the drill. Because of the friction between the wood and the hole saw bit, the hole saw bit can get really hot in between drilling the holes. So try not to touch it with your bare hands. Allow the saw hole bit to cool to touch before removing the drilled out pieces of wood. All the holes are made, easy enough, and they're looking good. Nice, clean cuts. Look at that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble my project again. So I'm grabbing the base again. That is the exact length as our top piece. And let's just double check if we're on the right path with our project over here. And it's looking good. Now, you can lift this up to whatever height you want, if you want it like that right on the rim, or if you preferred hanging more down the neck of the bottle, you can do that as well. But I like it around here. So I'm just gonna grab my tape measure and see what measurement we're working with. I'm happy with that height, that's about 21 centimeters. So that's the measurement I'm gonna to use to cut my two other pieces of side palette for our project. And then we can get to sanding. Okay, so our side pieces of wood are cut to size and it's looking good. I'm just checking where I'm gonna mark out my pilot holes because that'll really help me later after sanding and staining to know where to drive in my wood screws. Let's get marking. I'm using a medium grit sandpaper to smooth down the wood. If you want a really smooth finish, you can opt for a finer grit sandpaper, but I'm quite liking the rustic look of this project. With the wood sanded, now we can get to staining. And I've decided to go with this beautiful gray, weathered colored stain. I think it's just gonna really complement the whole project and the see-through glass bottles. A good tip with this type of wood stain is to just apply it as sparsely as you can like dry brushing and then go in with a rag just to make sure that it sits in all the grains and I like the fact that the color gray isn't covering the whole piece of wood but letting the grain of the wood show through. I'm just so impressed with the stain, it looks amazing. So now it's time for the assembly. To assemble the top part of my project, I'm gonna make use of this corner clamp over here. It's really so easy and it holds everything in place. Before I clamp it in, I'm gonna use some wood glue just for extra security. 
And once I've placed it inside the clamp, you turn this knob over here and what it does is it secures everything nice for you so your hands are free while you're drilling. So now we can assemble our project. Our top piece of our project is assembled, so all that's left to do is to secure it into our base. But before we do, I've left enough space for the bottles to be placed in and they're going to be placed in permanently. So I have to be very careful and delicate placing them in and then driving the screws at the bottom of our base. There you go, our DIY table centerpiece is complete and I must say it looks really beautiful. It's such a nice piece of decor for the outside patio or a table. So I'm gonna go place it on the table, cut some fresh flowers, just in time for brunch.